Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Brent Venables, the Oklahoma Sooners land another commitment in the 2025 class. Coming from three-star cornerback Malik Hawkins from the state of Texas. Last name, obviously, very familiar with Oklahoma fans, the little brother of Michael Hawkins. And you dive into Malik Hawkins, one, a very interesting prospect coming from the state of Texas where some other recruiting services are really high on Malik Hawkins. No doubt Oklahoma is. And there's a lot of reason to believe that he has a lot of upside in the back end of a defense at the college football level for you guys who have been rocking with the fellas for the last couple of years on the recruiting trail. I look for three things when I'm looking at cornerbacks going to the college football landscape, especially with Oklahoma going to the SEC. I look for length. I look for long speed and I look for ball skills. And Malik Hawkins is a guy that kind of checks all of those boxes, apparently up to 6'2", not only a really good frame, but he has that length and he knows how to use it. He's a very, very competitive guy on the football field. Really big fan of this kid. Want to dive into the film. Talk a little bit about what he brings to this Oklahoma defense before we do. And as always, just want to say thank you to you guys. A massive shout out to the Oklahoma fans. Y'all know I have a blast covering this program on the recruiting trail. All the Boomer Sooners that you guys throw in the comments section. Appreciate that more than you guys know. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And it sounds like we might be back talking Oklahoma on the recruiting trail relatively soon, but let's get into Malik Hawkins right now. And again, a couple things right off the bat after watching his film, and we're going to get into his film in just a little bit. I love the length, and I more importantly love how he uses his length. And we talk about length a lot, and it gets thrown out a lot. If you have long arms, it doesn't mean anything if you don't know how to use it. You look at Malik Hawkins not only using his length to play the football in the air, but he knows how to put his hands on wide receivers, jam them at the line of scrimmage, squeeze them out to the boundary. This is a kid that you can tell has been coached the right way, a very polished cornerback that has a lot of traits that you want to see in those high upside cornerbacks at the college football level. Another thing that I really like about his game that we'll see on the film really versatile in coverage. You can see him operate in press man, putting hands on wide receivers. You can see, you also can see him sitting back in zone coverage, seeing, reading the eyes of the quarterback and go playing the football as well. And you look at Oklahoma, you look at what they want to do on the defensive side of the football. They want to be versatile. They want to have guys in the defensive back room that can operate and do a lot of different things. And you look at Malik Hawkins, I think he checks a lot of those boxes from a versatility standpoint as well. And the last thing I'll say, and this is kind of an intangible that sometimes I have fun looking for, and that is he's a competitor. This is a guy that wants to talk his, he wants to talk a little bit on the football field. And you look at cornerbacks, you look at the cornerbacks that are the top in college and the NFL level. They're competitors, man. They talk a little bit. Malik Hawkins, a ton of confidence. He'll talk a little bit on the field. I like to see that as well. And without further ado, let's get into the film a little bit. And I think the first thing you want to talk about is how well he plays the football, right? You look at a lot of cornerbacks that'll check off pretty much every single trait you want in a cornerback, the long speed, the size, fluid in the hips, but they don't play the football in the air. A guy like Malik Hawkins, he knows how to get his head turned around to the football, make a play on the football. And that's something that really differentiates a lot of cornerbacks at the college football level. You roll the film here, one. I mean, right, right in the hip pocket of the wide receiver, but more importantly, when that football is in the air, I'm going to get my head turned around and I'm going to go make a play on the football, use my length to be disruptive in the throwing windows. And then you see a little off-man coverage where you look at the box, there is no safety high. He is responsible for this wide receiver in-man coverage and really fluid. Again, this is a guy that's listed himself at 6'2". Sometimes you have question marks about being fluid, being able to mirror wide receivers sticking right in the hip pocket of this wide receiver, getting his long arms into the throwing window. Another thing that you really like from Lee Cock is then we talk about, all right, you got those long arms. Let's see you go use them on the football field. We saw him operate in some of that off man stuff. Let's see what he does in some press, man. And you look at Malik Hawkins at the line of scrimmage. I mean, a nasty, nasty jam wants to get involved at the line of scrimmage. 
use him in a lot of different ways. Love it right here where he's squeezing that wide receiver right out to the boundary, right? Putting hands on the wide receiver. That's textbook. That's what you want to do at the cornerback spot when you're dealing with some of those fly routes. Squeeze him to the boundary. Get my arms into that throwing window. Now, I'm not sure if he makes this play here. I'm going to assume he does. But again, exactly what you like to see again. Press man coverage, no high safety. And you're going to see him again squeeze that wide receiver right out to the boundary. Very good at the line of scrimmage using his hands. You continue to see the jams on the field. This is a guy that you talk about being a competitor. When he wants to take the two opposing wide receivers, he wants to put hands on wide receivers. He wants to physically dominate wide receivers. And from a mindset perspective, how are you wired between the ears? Like that's what you want to see from these cornerbacks. Again, I love the jam at the line of scrimmage. This is a dude that wants to be extremely physical. You see it once again playing the boundary. A lot of different ways you can get him involved. And again, these receivers just really struggle to get off the line of scrimmage when they're dealing with a guy like Malik Hawkins. Big fan of this kid's game. You continue to watch the film, just closing out wide receivers at the line of scrimmage. Now, you look at this Oklahoma class and I feel like this, nobody's really talking about what Oklahoma is doing on the recruiting trail. And we've talked about this a lot. You're starting to see the dividends of Brent Venables on the recruiting trail manifest itself on this Oklahoma roster. When we talk about this team during spring practice, we're consistently talking about the competitive depth and competition that they have on this roster. And this is how you create it, right? If sneakily, a top six recruiting class in the country might even end the day today as a top five class in the country. That's the norm in Oklahoma, right? And we've talked about Brent Venables. I think players know that there are building something special in Norman. They're going on visits. They're interested in Oklahoma. You scroll down this list, really like how it's constructed, where you got some offensive talent coming in and Elijah Thomas and Troy Blaylock, but you're establishing the line of scrimmage. You got Ryan Foji, who has so much up, upside at that offensive tackle spot. You have some just raw athletes on this list as well. You obviously have Kevin Sperry locked in. Big fan of what Oklahoma is doing on the recruiting trail. We might have a little bit more to talk about later today as well. Appreciate the Oklahoma fans rocking with the boys. Y'all know I have a blast talking this program. Cannot thank you guys enough for rocking with the fellas. If you guys do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll talk to y'all later.